At an overall cost of 196 trillion shillings, the projects under the second National Development Plan may appear overambitious. Government, however, maintains there's good space to mobilize the required resources. Uh, government will contribute, but this plan is also about the private sector involvement. So we expect that we will have money from government, but also the private sector is going to, 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 to invest in this plan. So 54% will come from government over the next five years, and the rest will come from the different stakeholders. The plan is prioritizing the areas of agriculture, tourism, minerals, oil and gas, but to get the most out of it, focus is being placed on the two fundamental areas of human capital development and infrastructure. We are also uh, focusing on industrialization and value addition so that we solve problems of balance of payments. As you have seen in the previous, uh, in a few months ago, we have had a problem of uh, frustrating forex exchange. And we're also continuing uh, to fast track skills development. Actually, this plan will focus, as we'll be hearing uh, from the president tomorrow, on human uh, capital development so that our young people in schools and the colleges are able to acquire the required, uh, to, to be able to match the acquired skills in the classrooms with the required skills uh, in the workplace. The ineffective public sector management, corruption and bureaucracy were cited as contributors that hampered private investments and delivery of public services in the National Development Plan 1, an issue that has now been dealt with. The passing of the Public Finance Management uh, Act, because this act now requires that for any spending agents, for your budget to be approved, two things should happen. The first one, the accounting officer uh, will have no query uh, in the previous year. If you have a query, you are, not, you are not going to be appointed to manage the budget for the following year. The second one is the certificate of compliance. This certificate of compliance will help us uh, to make sure that the plan that we have is implemented through budgeting. A critical message emerging out of the second national development plan to be launched tomorrow is to strengthen competitiveness for sustainable wealth creation, employment and inclusive growth. Ingrid Nantege, NTV, Business.